Hello everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs and today we will cover question 9 in our series regarding statistics. Let's begin. If a population A has a larger standard deviation than population B, which of the following is not true? So remember, we're going for a negative answer here. So the, what it is saying is true, then that's not the answer. So look for what is not true. A. Population B has a smaller variance than population A. B. The mean of a sample of 20 from population A has a larger standard deviation than the mean of a sample of 20 from population B. C. A typical observation from population A will be farther from the mean of population A than a typical observation B will be from the mean of population B. D. The mean of a sample from population A will on average be larger than the mean of a sample from population B. So we know that A has a larger standard deviation than B. Uh, so all we have to know is what does standard deviation mean? And standard deviation, as we've discussed in previous videos, just the disbursement of a set of data. The larger the standard deviation is, the larger the disbursement is. So uh, it's a measure of variance. So also the larger the variance is. So population B has a smaller variance than population A. This would be true because A has a larger standard deviation, so therefore uh, B would have a smaller variance. Larger standard deviation means a larger variance. Um, Variance can also be measured by standard deviation squared. So obviously, if standard deviation is higher, uh, the variance will be higher. So A is true, so therefore it is not the answer. The mean of a sample of 20 from population A has a larger standard deviation than the mean of a sample from 20 from population B. This is also a true statement. It doesn't matter how large the sample gets. If the standard deviation is uh, the same, it's going to be proportional to the population. So what's important to know here is that this is just going to be true. It doesn't matter if we're changing proportions or it's the same proportion. Uh, if A is, has a larger standard deviation than B, it doesn't matter how many there are, it's always gonna have a larger standard deviation. C, a typical observation from population A will be farther from the mean than popula of population A than a typical observation from B will be from the mean from population B. That's another definition of standard deviation. So these are all great. These are great at defining this definitions of standard deviation. So if you understand A, B, and C uh, as definitions of standard deviation and why these are correct, you should be golden with understanding the concept of standard deviation. So this leaves us the last two. So D, the mean of a sample from population A will be on average be larger than the mean on a, of a sample from population B. So if a standard deviation is larger, it's going to change the disbursement of data or variance and make it larger but it has nothing to do with the mean. Uh, the mean is not changed by the standard deviation. So the bottom line is uh, D is not true, so this will be our answer. Uh, and it's important to remember that you can have two different sets of data, both with the same mean, but extremely different deviations, and the deviations will not affect the mean. So the mean is not the standard deviation, so this is a good example of what would be wrong. So if you understand this question, that, and why D is the answer and why A, B, and C are not the answer uh, and why A, B, and C are the definitions of a standard deviation and D is not, it's the definition of a mean, uh, then you should be golden with the concept of standard deviation. So I hope this helps. Again, today we just covered in depth the concept of standard deviation. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, Business Core Tutoring. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to write in the comments below or on my Twitter if you have any questions or want videos on any other subject, and have a wonderful day. Bye.